tent. For what? You guys, I'm not a, a, a Bob the Builder here. I think I, I, for for who? For me. It's a tent for me. Because I give you, I'm the only one who, who who's listening. Mommy, I'm lying. Okay. Where is it? Taking that, but catch it, catch it. Do you know that's a thing? Mommy, I just lie right in the show. I'm very, yeah, you're lying. Very sure. We are just lying. How, how can I lie? Imagine oh. telling your mom that you are lying. Is that good manners? But you said it's for only for you. Hey, it's for me. I give you a, 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 a Lina, your ears don't want to work. So I'm making myself a tent, I'm building a tent for myself so I can hide from you guys. It's not nice. Is it nice Nina when you don't listen to me? Is it nice? But can I help you? Is it nice? But can I help you? Is it nice? Tell me. But can I help you? I want to help mama. Hi mom. But what about these ones? By the way, this is what we are building. I was cleaning. I was cleaning my room and and I found my ring which I've been looking for and I thought I had lost it and my husband was giving me grief for it. So I found it and I saw this as well. So we are building it. Hi guys. My monkey hide his power. But now he's doing a tent. Because he don't love me. I tell the video. You tell the video. <laughs> you tell the video. What did you tell them? That your mom is building a tent and she's going to hide from you. <laughs> I want to go inside. But I don't know how to build it. I'm struggling. Mom, but you have to uh, read the instructions. There are no instructions, Nana. Read it. Where? Guys, we found the instruction and we are going to do it. Look. Yeah. Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. Told ya. I didn't know that there was an instruction manual. Girl. Told ya. Where's that other one? Let's put them here. Where's the other one? My sister holding two arms. One. One. They're making a tent to for campfire. No, I wish we could do campfire. Because tents are for campfire. My tent. No. My tent. Thanks, girl. So that's a small one. Move away from the camera. We did it! Yay! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> and that's it! We have been trying to dress this tent for the longest time now. I'm son. No, no. Show them over here. I think I'm ready to quit. Um, Mama. I don't know what example I'm going to be showing <laughs> to my kids, but I'm tired now. I'm sweaty as hell and I'm ready to quit. No ways. I can't see you, Mama. No, turn around it, yes. Your puzzle, that looks like your tent. You're building with your sister. Yeah. So this part. But you try to me. That's not like that. So I need other pieces. This can come. Thank you. My little tent. Please. My little tent. 
The shark. Wow, girl. Let me see. No, that's a whale. It's a, oh, a whale. You are so right. Mama, at my school. There's a whale at your school. It's just joking. Let's check the shrimp. This must go here. Fishing for Jesus. Fishing for Jesus. Fishing for Jesus every day. Every day. So guys, we are building a puzzle, a sea puzzle like my tent. For the second time today. I guess. Yeah. And what did I say you must do when you build a puzzle? Listen to you. No, I said you must first start with what? With the with the what? With the ah. with the foundation. Start with all the the parts that look like this. <laughs> Find all the parts that look like this, right? Okay. Now you find with me. I'm not doing that. Oh, but or do the wrong ones. Look, these ones. No, you are gonna do the right ones. Look, foundation. Ah, uh, mama. Foundation. Foundation. Look. Okay. That's how I understand. Ne? When I say foundation, you don't get it. Ne? <laughs> Look, Nana. The ones that go on the edge of the oh. puzzle. These ones. The edge. Look for them. You can see the edge, right? Yeah. Look for them. The edge. Mm, what's the edge? Good, good job. You are getting it right. Exactly, best. The edge. Yes, girl. This mm. is the edge. Of course. The edge. Yes. And the edge. Yeah, clever girl, girl. Usa no no. No pressure, not to call me usa no. I know. Yeah, usa no no got pressures. Mommy. Yes, girl. Mommy. Hi, baby. I'm making. You want to give me stickers? Oh. Okay. Girl. Can I give me? No. Not listening. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah. Thanks, baby. No, not listening. Ah. Oh, send me the. Can't you hold my Thanks, girl. Now that you've found the edges, build the foundation again. Okay. You see here. You must look here. There's a seahorse. Can you see? Okay. Here's the seahorse. Which is this one that you have here? Yeah. I got it. So where's the seahorse? Exactly, yes, I'm. You are doing a very good job. Alright. And the. I'm not helping you this time around. Hi, Mama. You've got this, girl. You can do it. Okay, I can do it. You can do it, I guess. I can do it. Yes. Exactly. I can't do it. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Is this the right one? Yeah. We just came back from church and I'm having my treats from Al Saudi Bakery. Um, I'm having <laughs> I'm having um, tiramisu cake 
a cream donut and a custard slice but i doubt i'll finish the custard slice because it's super sweet and we didn't go to our usual church today we went to christian family church um which is a church that we used to go to anyway before Lodger was born the last time we went there was just before Use was two so she was quite young to like even remember so she was so shocked at how different it is to like the usual church that we go to there's a mall inside the the church campus and like there are restaurants and stuff so and then I'm always shocked by mama what's going on here is this really a church this is so good too good too good what are you going to make girl? pizza are you going to cook some pizza? pizza what are you making? pizza pizza pee pee Okay, let's show nah. the people the ingredients. We got also this. Uh, everything we need for the pizza. Oh, and I think onions in, as well for this pizza base that we are going to make. Ne? It's going to be delicious, I'm telling you. I don't know. It's going to be so delicious. Look at it as a gray. That gray thing. You know which, ne? Way. Such a place. 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 I am never cooking with these girls again. Please. This is bacon. Raw bacon, by the way. Jojo, I, I caught her eating it. She even bit into the Viennas. Not me. Yo, uh -uh, she move away. I'm not cooking with you guys again. Please. The sauce that I made is so good. It tastes... <laughs> Um, a bit sweet because of the butternut and I had added some chutney as well it's so so good my kids were stressing me out so much here that I actually even forgot to fry the bacon beforehand, what a disaster, Gesan. How's the pizza, guys? How's the pizza, Georgia girl? Yeah. Chef Jojo. Yeah. Um click down there the comments to watch uh, all of our videos. Uh, uh. Oh they must click on the comments mm -hmm. and they'll see all your videos. Mm -hmm. The the sauce oh, how was it? Was it delicious? Yeah. Did you taste the broccoli and the butternut? Uh, you didn't, right? No. It was delicious. Um the toppings were delicious. The only thing that is not make sure is the is the is the base so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna need a dough and make a pasta base from no, scratch no i want i want to bake pizza with dough mm, we'll make dough ne? 
Yeah. How do you make dough? Look, Google. Google. What's mm -hmm. Google? Check the internet. Okay, guys, switch up those comments to watch our video. Oh, okay, girl. It actually is quite good, but I think had I maybe fried the bacon and the viennas um, beforehand, then it wouldn't have needed to be in the oven for too long, so it wouldn't have gotten like this and super crunchy. I paired the steamed bread with a basic chicken stew and some cabbage and my food is looking very much um, one-dimensional because of the turmeric in the cabbage and the turmeric in the chicken stew but it is delicious d d d d delicious okay <laughs> so cute so so cute this color is is nicer than this there's also a size one oh it's so cute oh my god i'm jogging oh thank you nana thank you nana thank you nana i'm not too sure whether i should take a size two or a size three Oh my god. Yo guys, I'm currently packing for my kids. We are going to Limbobo. So I just wanted to show you that I'm pretty much packing my entire house away. I need to pack this um, steamer blender for making Ukhetilo's food. 
and just look at the amount of medicine i need to pack with me because my kids are actually sick um i haven't been to work this entire week because my kids have been sick but they are feeling a whole lot better um yeah i'm literally packing my entire house away <laughs> um these are their toiletries this is what they smell like by the way <laughs> the lentheric vanilla flavor mm. yeah i think i've got all the medication and toiletries for Jose and Claudio. now i need to pack the baby's toiletries yo i'm tired right so much when it comes to um, toys that toys are super super cheap look at that so we picked up a couple of things for the girls on your cheeks Blush. okay some some color on your cheeks put some pink in, on your cheeks cheeks wait oh do that just now after the eye oh okay girl why can you wipe here should i help you should i help yeah. you do the makeup you do oh the makeup i don't have. come down so that they can see like it no okay I'm sorry do your own makeup again <laughs> you're not a good makeup I'm not a good makeup <laughs> hey, let's see Tata. come let's see come show us mm -hmm. classic girl do you like your makeup 
Yeah. Who did your makeup? My auntie. Your auntie. Wow. You look so pretty, girl. Uh, You're a classy uh, girl, isn't it? I'm not me. At least I just have old makeup. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classy girl. Did her own makeup. Uh, oh, you didn't like it that I did it uh, and your blue wasn't vibrant. You wanted your blue to be very bright, ne? I see. Guys, Umdanam is certainly a Picasso. I mean, look at this. It's me. It's me that I told. Wow, girl. That's Guys, stunning. I made these details. Oh, wow, girl. So, You're so talented, right? I'm going to make another. I'm going to make some more details. Wow, girl. Stunning. Absolutely talented, right? Right. Uh, you have guys watch my videos. Each one wanna win. Learn how I do. So you should watch a video if they want to learn what that I do. Oh, okay, girl. I see. I so see you. I see you. Guys, welcome back to my vlog and this is me and I was doing makeup so check it out I made the details on the cheeks and we so we are up to going Hi guys, welcome you back are seeing me in the car it is family day today, um, the 10th of April, I believe. And I'm about to leave my house to fetch my kids from Pretoria. They were there since Friday, um, Easter Friday. Hello, Baba. So I'm gonna go collect them now. I am so tired. I thought I would be able to rest. Um, now that my older two have been there in Pretoria, but my baby as well has been sick. My kids have just been sick. Um, my son was teething, and then after the teething, the older two were sick. And they had to stay home and not go to school for two weeks to like fully recover from what they were sick from. And then um, they passed on a cold to my baby now. So last week when we went to Limbobo, um, the cold was starting and then I was treating him at home because he has gotten a cold before from his sisters but I usually just um, treat the fever like usually at night I will treat the fever with paracetamol but he had never been to the doctor before so on Saturday like almost a week after he had um, started being not feeling well um yeah I had to take him to the hospital and he's doing so much better today and we are sleeping better but because i'm an exhausted mom who who's been um taking care of her family i've been like craving for time by myself just doing the things that i like to do so i've been sleeping very late <laughs> i've been sleeping very late my baby is sleeping well at night again um since i took him to the doctor but the problem is that i've been sleeping super late yeah so i'm tired and i'm actually going back to work tomorrow so um but anyway let me go to my mom's and enjoy being treated like the princess that i am and being served food and um, being sent home, back home with his cafe, the lunch boxes full of food. I love my mom so much, you guys. Um, I love that I've got someone that I can trust uh, for my kids, someone I can leave my kids with. I trust her so much with my kids that I don't even call when I leave my kids there. Um, it's actually a full house at Kai because even my sister's child is there and my older brother's two kids are there as well. So 
she has her hands quite full but she's still cooking for us um on friday when we took the kids there i had tripe when i got there tripe that was from thursday and i hadn't had tripe since i was pregnant with utlojo in 2019 i hated tripe so much so i had it for the first time this friday and it was so so good um and then after tribe we had pickled fish and and hot cross buns and she also sent us back to my house with a lot of pickled fish so i appreciate my mom so so much she takes care of me ah cool i think she understands that you are she has her hands full and we are go so mwah to you mom if you're watching this <laughs> But at least this was the first time um, that my kids were sick this year. Um, this year has been quite a good one, I guess. Health-wise, um, I'm so glad actually that I took Usa for the surgery to get her tonsils removed. Because, yeah, my kids haven't been sick at all this year. This was the first time. The recovery for the tonsillectomy surgery was horrible. Yo, it was horrible. I felt like such a horrible mom for taking my child through that. Also, would sometimes cry at night and say, But mommy, when is Jesus going to heal me? Oh, mommy, why isn't the medication making me feel better? And yo, that would make me feel so horrible. But I am so glad um, we made the decision to take her for that surgery. If your child is suffering from... Um, tonsil infections regular ones um i'd definitely recommend you consider the surgery the recovery um isn't fun but it will be worth it but she was only like um in a lot of pain for like the first five days and then from day six onwards she was okay and i went back to work actually on the sixth day when i saw that diamond all right to chom um and the most important thing is for your baby or your child to to eat and drink to eat and drink constantly so that there's constant irritation on the throat and that will promote healing and you guys know um on the day that also got her surgery they were there was a list there of all the, the the kids who got um their tonsils removed and adenoids and um grommet surgery and on that list i also saw that there was a one-year-old who got her tonsils removed so i have been wondering jeba i just wonder how the recovery was for for that um parent yo but anyway um yeah let me go collect my kids we still feel the vibe you could not say a word and i know what you just decided we'd be right in the same <laughs> I made my kids their favorite today for oh you're taking a video with your phone okay yeah. I made them their favorite for their 3 p.m. snack at school they've got crackers some bulldog gouda cheese and um, cream cheese I always pack okay I've made it baby I always pack two fruits for them and some yogurt. I didn't have like those, um, what is it? Like the small yogurts that we like usually buy for the kids. So I just um, gave them some plain yogurt, the baby's plain yogurt. And I also made them some hot chocolate with um, marshmallows. Um, and this is mine. It's yours. Good morning. Good morning! Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, baby. It's got to chill, honey. I had also cooked soft porridge for all three of them because my kids will fight me if I send them to school without having breakfast first. They eat breakfast here at home and get to school and eat breakfast as well. Particularly that three-year-old that terrorizes me. I just got my hair done and I had to sit for a million years for these braids because my head is big and I have a lot of hair. <laughs> I had to sit for a million hours and I paid a million rands for these braids which just reminded me why I decided to cut my hair in December. Like I needed a break from the inconvenience of getting my hair done. 
um because i honestly don't like going to the salon i actually don't like getting my hair done period so i like i was regretting it so much like when they were you know, my husband is calling me papa I like these so much but I wish they were flat. Mm, they look really nice. Thank you. <laughs> but I wish they were flat. <laughs> no, but I need to be comfortable at work for the whole day. This this hill is so high. I will think about this. Yesterday after work, um, I went to the mall. I went to MRP and H and M. I needed um, I needed knitwear from H and M and um, jeans, skinny jeans. There's a pair of skinny jeans that I once bought from H and M that looked really really nice on me. It um, held me at the right places. Um, so I wanted to get the exact same jean because the one I have now, I think I got it in 2021, um, it's no longer in a good condition. So I wanted to get a new one. But when I went there, I didn't find the style of the jean that I was looking for. Eh, so I don't know, I think I'll try and look at another H&M maybe. And I didn't like the knitwear that I found there at all. Um, I ended up buying two knits from MRP. I'll just show you guys the things that I got, but it's pretty much the same thing in different colors. <laughs> because that's what I do. When I really like something, I'll buy it in all the colors that are available. Um, let me actually just show you boots that I had gotten from Cotton On about a month ago. But it was um, like, on they were on sale. So I doubt they are still available they are from the previous winter i got these in this snake skin print and i've worn them so much and these black ones i find that shoes from cotton on are like a small make so i'm a size six so usually when i buy shoes from cotton on specifically like closed shoes i'll have to size up 
um, to a size 7. So with these boots, a size 7 also wasn't like too comfortable for me. And you know, you're going to be wearing socks in, in chilly weather. So I was like, you know what, let me just size up some more even. So I ended up getting them in a size 8. So it annoys me how long they are. They are a little bit big on me, but I would rather have them be like big and comfortable than for them to be like too tight. So, I, oh, I got those from Cotton On about a month ago. Um, yeah, I think they were about 300 and something each. Um, also, last year when I was pregnant, I wanted to get loafers from Mr. Price. Mr. Price usually has really, really, really nice loafers. But because my feet were um, a bit swollen at the time, I was like, it probably won't be a good idea for me to get size 7 loafers because when I'm not pregnant, they won't fit me. The size 7 shoes I bought because I was pregnant, I had to give to my helper. So I got, um, so that's why I didn't end up buying loafers last year when I was pregnant. But Mr. Price had such nice ones. Um, I got these for 2 dollars in size six i love them so much um they actually look really nice with the outfit i have on right now i've got on like straight cut jeans from from cotton on um i also got close my door i also got um two of these the reason i got these is to wear leave my camera please Hello. Hey girl. Is to wear. Luck. I got these to to wear on top of um I've got like dead shirts from Cotton on. I think I've got like three of those. A pink one, a blue one, and a yellow one. Dead shirts, right? The loose fitting kind of shirts. So I got these to wear. Who's always the camera? I am one. I got these to wear on top of um the dead shirts. This pink one was 199. Um, those shoes, I think I did say that they were 230. Mm. Yeah. I also got this in a chocolate shade. Because I did say that when I like something, I get it in all the available colors. <laughs> I've also been looking for a, um, a cream blush. To wear. I am 10 years old. Yeah, 10 years old. I've yeah. also been looking for like a cream blush to wear, like, um, to work, you know? Um, I'm not really sure about this color. And I also don't like that this is quite like, um, can you see my cheeks? Yeah. I usually do like my eyebrows. I'll have my eyebrows done and my lips always look like this when I go to work. So... Mommy, move your feet. But so, you're still too short. Ah! I, I need something so I can be 10. I also got these... I think uh, this cream blush was 69 rand. You might also talk. give me a chance please. And I was saying that I don't like that it's um it smells nice, so I'm not sure if that is actually gonna be good for my skin. I also got uh four packs of like beauty sponges. Beauty sponges, yeah. And these were 60 rand. I also got a four pack of like glass um straws. I've been looking for those specifically at at home, but I couldn't find them whenever I would go to the shops. Um, I also got these razors. Um, I'll probably use these for like shaving my my moustache when I do my makeup. And what else did I get? Let me get that plastic bag. I love, love, love flared leggings. These look so delicious on me. Delicious! <laughs> yeah, they look super delicious on me. They're I like the, um, the material. They're not for eating. Super stretchy. And super so I got these in, in black. These were... From Mr. Price. From Mr. Price, no? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hold him, my assistant. These are 159. When can I say that? And I got this color as well. But um, when I got back yesterday, I realized that it's torn. It's torn. Torn. Ne? torn. It's torn. So I went to. So I went to the like to a different Mr. Price today yeah. and they didn't have this color. Mm -hmm. They had a chocolate color and I was like, okay, I'm gonna this go chocolate. find this color. I got these in the size large by the way. This I'm gonna go probably on Monday on lunch. I'll I'll go exchange these. Um I also got them in a chocolate color. I'm gonna try them on so you see how how delicious they look on me. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got, ne? Because nope. yeah, that's all I got. I couldn't find knitwear that I liked from um H and M, and I couldn't find the jeans that I wanted. So yeah. I also went to Foshini yesterday um, to try on these other boots that I've been seeing on Instagram. I love them so, so much. I love hookah boots. Hookah boots are like over the knee boots, right? Um, my sister and I call them hookah boots. We had a pair while we were in high school. But yeah, like velvet, Swedish kind of material. So we constantly Mommy. had to be cleaning them. Mommy. Yes. Uh, the boots with your sister. Boots, boots. Mm. Yes, boots, boots, nan. So we also had like a pair in, um, I think 2015. I bought myself a black pair and I bought her a beige pair. They were from Rage and they were really, really nice. Um, but I think about in 2021, I had to throw them away because the, the pleather was starting to peel off and they were starting to look quite untidy. So I had to throw them away and this other pleather jacket of mine, green, that I used to love so much, it was from Foshini. So I've been on the hunt for like hooker boots. I was on the hunt last um, winter but never found a pair that I liked. So this pair that I saw now at Foshini, yo, Zindler guys, they are stunning. They are stunning. But I can't wear high heel boots to work. That heel is so high. It is so high. Um, so it won't make sense for me to buy them because I know I won't wear them. I really won't. So if I do buy them, I would be buying them for like maybe wearing out on a date or something like that. But oh. definitely not to wear to work. By the time that I walk from my car to my office, I would have been... I would have been like dead so I won't even like try and fool myself um so if you guys know of a, a place where I can get like and hookah boots and our <laughs> let videos. me know <laughs> and also um with regards to the cream blush Stunning. I had found such a stunning coral shade yeah. at this camp by the brand Stunning. Palladium Stunning. but I never find stock when I go to this camp. It's always just the tester that is there. So that is why I ended up um, going for this Mr. Price one. It's not too bad, honestly. I look nice. I would like to believe. Don't I? Have you decided what you're doing?
light and the darkness. Let there be hope in the madness. 